out, out, stop out, out. Hello, everybody. This is another solo ep on the Obzodact. I am on my own right now with a 360 camera. If you uh, grab the screen or use the air key, uh, there's arrows in the corner of the screen. Or if you use it on your mobile device to swipe around, you should be able to follow me around. <laughs> this is just a little experiment. I bought a I bought a, a 360 cam, and I just want to give it a go to see what I what a, the, what's going on. I I noticed some poor stitching over here, so I'm just gonna see how that works. I'll just this is like this is this is less of a obsodact, and more of just testing my camera and uploading the footage. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I've already tested it a little bit, but I'm, I've bought this for, uh, for some videos. And Ron is here in spirit on my t-shirt. <sighs> That's all I have planned. This is the, there's nothing, I've got nothing else planned. I just wanted to, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. I got a few things to talk about. But just make sure you follow me, because I could be up to no good. <laughs> See? You can, like, go down. You can go real low. I could go, I could stand anywhere. I could, I could, I could just, I could, whatever, I'll just put this on the bed. Now, you have to, so now, so now that the camera's on the bed, but you still have, can look at me if you choose to. Doesn't matter. That's kind of the cool thing about this, it just doesn't matter. For the YouTube to MP3 listeners, they are so confused right now, guys. You really need to... <sighs> um, something I've got to mention. Which I'd like to mention early on in this ep solo episode of mine. Is that... At some point... I'm not sure when, but at some point... I am going to... Be uploading some pre-recorded podcasts um, and they I haven't really pre-recorded them for any particular reason other than it's just it was just like a I I guess I just had a burning and my asshole was burning bruh and I was like yeah I'm, I'll record a whole bunch of apps with like um I did I did one with with Ella I did a dream app I did one with rail and I did one with Connor and I'm likely to record maybe another one out of, um... Usually I record on, like, a Sunday. Right now is a Sunday, and then I upload it on a Wednesday. It's, like, enough time to... Enough time for comments to come in, and enough time to, for sure, get it fucking ready, or whatever. I don't know how long this one's gonna take. I've only, um... I've only recorded, like, a minute of 360 footage before, and it was, like, a very big file. So I'm gonna see, <laughs> hopefully... Hopefully this is fine. Um, it's like, this is a test. This is like a test, but I also do want to do like a 360. I should be walking, if I'm walking, I should walk around it really, shouldn't I? Um, this is hard to get used to. It's pretty cool though, right? I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm off camera, but then I realize, no, I'm on camera. Because I'm not in front of it, if, if you know what I mean. Because right now I'm not looking directly at a lens, but I know that I'm being picked up. Oh my god, there's a spider right here. Holy shit. Look at that. Oh my god. I grabbed the spider and now it's... Whoa, it's right in the lens. I'm sorry, Ella. Oh my god. Holy shit. Whoa, that's very close. Uh, anyway. I'll put this, uh... I'll put this... Maybe there? I don't know. I'll put it there and open the window. Is it good to let spiders out the window? I always do it because Ella doesn't like spiders, but then it makes me think like, wait, it because it's like wool spiders, right? There's those spiders that go in wools, wools, w a l l. But then it makes me think maybe the spider, maybe is all spiders do that? Because that's maybe how they get into houses. I heard that there's spiders who go who, uh, small. They get into like a shed through a small hole, and then they're like, oh shit, I'm gonna eat, eat all these uh, dead, all this dead shit in here. And then they eat all the dead shit, and then uh, and they try and get out, but they've grown, and they can't get out the out the hole, right? That they came in, and it's like, oh shit! Well, uh, uh, what are they doing? And then they become, they die in there, 
and they become dead shit, which more spiders come in. See, I don't know if that's true, but it just seems to make sense in my mind. Hey, I'll, let me let me have a, let me have a look at my notes. I yeah, I, so I do have a few episodes that I want to upload that I pre-recorded just because I kind of got carried away like one or two weeks just like recording more than and and not wanting to upload like three episodes in you know a short space of time i've saved them and so i'm i may and and that means that i won't be responding to comments in those episodes and uh i may get them out in a chunk so there might be like i don't know there might be like a month chunk where i'm not necessarily responding to comments as much unless i upload uh, a fresh a fresh app in between but um I will uh, be compiling all comments I get and responding to them at a later date, which might actually be cool. I might be—I could do a whole, a whole uh, uh, cast on comments. Wouldn't that be cool? Maybe you guys uh, uh, could, uh, could spam the comment section. There. So. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so it's only three apps that I need to upload as of now. Um, anyway, uh, uh, so today was actually going to be with a guest. Not going to reveal guest. Secret guest, but some point come will be on at some point. I'm not looking at the lens when I look at the camera. I'm going to look at the lens from now on. I'm looking at the, uh, the timer because I'm like... I'm just, I'm very curious of like, because this is only a 64 gigabyte card, I think, and I'm capturing 5.7k, so I'm like, hmm, this is not, and it's two cameras as well, so like, the battery's gotta die much faster, but anyway, um, yeah, so, uh, the, no guest this week, why, why is there no guest? Because I didn't show up. No, it's because I didn't show up. Um, <laughs> we both simultaneously slept in, which I thought I thought was funny to mention that it's, and it was very weird as well because um, I can't remember the last time I slept through an alarm, um, but this morning I did. I slept through. I was I slept through like so. I was like an hour late to the thing, and I was like, I'm sorry, I missed it. Blah blah blah. And then they they messaged me like ten minutes later, like yeah yeah, uh, no I'm I slept in too, and somehow my alarm didn't go off. And I'm like yeah maybe mine didn't either, and, I, and it was just a weird situation that because I I don't I can't remember the last time that ever happening to me, and so I'm gonna keep an eye on it anyway. I've turned on this alarm notification bullshit where it like keeps track of it. I should walk around the camera. Uh, anyway. Trying to keep track of it anyway. I'm gonna have a drink. Guys, I'm really on the fritz here. Because I something I haven't spoken about and the reason I just brought up the the fact that um that I slept in. And and the reason is is that I have been ill. And uh let me tell you, it was not, it was not uh Easy, fe easy feats to defeat the sickness at all. And I think um, the reason I stepped th through the alarm uh, was probably because I'm still recovering. Maybe I still feel very sluggish, and like I have done. For I so how so it's Sunday today, and I got ill on. When did I even get ill? I can check on my poo log, because I had very severe diarrhea, so whatever day I had nine shits was the day I was, like, the worst. Um, okay, so yeah, uh, okay, I, I know the storyline now. On Tuesday, I went to, holy shit, okay, I'm closing the, yeah, close the window there. <laughs> on, on Tuesday, I went to, um, where did I go? I went to a place, um... Uh, uh, the, it's like a, uh, per, a Indian curry bullshits, but I had like the spiciest thing on the menu and I was like, yeah, the, I'll, I'll handle this. I don't give a shit. I can, I can, I can eat anything spicy. 
Um, which I guess I can. It's not like I, I can't eat anything spicy, but then it's like, you know, my stomach is like a different story. Um, and so I ate, I ate this, the spiciest bullshits. And I did, I kind of wanted to save money, so I didn't get, like, rice with it or anything. I just had, literally, this, like, basically, this curry with chicken in it. So, it did have a substantial amount of chicken in it, but ma the main, the, the main thing I was eating was basically a bowl of hot sauce. Is basically what I was eating. Um, or it's at least what it tasted like. And, um, I got through it pretty fast, because I really enjoy hot food. Um... And, uh, you, well, the last time I ate something spicy there, I had very bad diarrhea. But I woke up the next morning and I, I was actually kind of constipated. And I was like, oh, okay, that's, that's kind of odd. Anyway, I went through that day. I, um, I then ate, and that, that was also that day where I ate the curry. I ate, um, what did I eat? I ate two lunches. I know that. I was going off, and then, then then this day where I had the curry, I had, um, the, oh, the, sorry, the next day after the curry, and I, then I had constipation in the morning, I thought, oh, I'm fine, Cons constipation, I'm fine, and so I, I, I ate just like crap again, like loads of fucking snacks and food and shit, and when it got to the evening time, I, um, and it makes me feel sick still to mention this. Fuck, but I had, uh, I had salad, um, I had fucking fish, I had, I should have brought bucket, holy shit, I had plain, just salty Doritos, and I had off sour cream, and the off sour cream, I could tell it was off. But I, uh, I kept, I kept eating it, um, bec because, <coughs> fuck, this is retarded, but I thought that I have nothing else to dip in, and I'm a pretty tough guy, I'll be good eating this off, so... <coughs> this off sour cream, um... Yeah, I just drank a fizzy drink as well, for the first time since this incident. So, I'm a little... Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna vomit. I don't think I'm gonna vomit. I had KFC last night. My, my, I'm, I'm, I'm putting my stomach through the ringer again, and it's, it's catching up. Um, but no, it's, it's been, it's been quite a few days since being sick, so I think it's okay to start eating like a fucking pig again, but, um, yeah, so that, that was on Wednesday, I had this off sour cream, and then, that wasn't the end of it, after, like, halfway getting through the sour cream, and realizing, maybe, actually, it's a bad idea to intentionally eat off sour cream after eating, like, crap for a couple days, um, I, being lactose intolerant, I had, um, uh, crunchy nut, uh, in a uh, with loads of milk, um, right before I went to bed, and I went to bed, and I was very, I was, I, don't know, I was like, I went to sleep thinking like shit, I feel ill, but, you know, I've eaten enough to where I might just sleep through the sickness, it might put me in a little, uh, food coma, I'll be good, and I woke up at two thirty, with incredible stomach pains and, just feeling so ill, like awful, and I, I. I I remember, like, instantly getting up, like, and having burning in my throat and stomach, like, shit, this could be bad. But, now this is when, um, uh, a little backstory comes in. I have been afraid of vom bombing, uh, vomiting, uh, throwing up since I was, well, not as long as I can remember, but, you know, since I was very young, like, you know, before I was 10 or something, but, um, you know, I'm sure there was a time when I was a kid where I, I remember throwing up and it not being that bad, but generally speaking, at some point, when in my early childhood, I was, as I've become very afraid of vomiting, and, um, 
the last time I had vomited um, was in 2014 when I was 13 or 14 years old. And um, I was I was so scared. And, and ever since then, I have always, always avoided vomiting. I have always felt it come up and just man- like managed to keep it down. And like, obviously the feeling of almost vomiting sucks. But like to me, it's always been like vomiting. It's like I've got to avoid it. I've got to. I've always been afraid of it. And anyway, this time I'm... Uh, I'm diarrheaing on the toilet. In fact, I might be able to give you the timeline because I have the poos logged. Um, I was di- I had diarrhea. I was just squirting, like actual. S- it was three. Tw- Although these might not be logged at the right times because um. Because the problem is, is that sometimes I'm like, uh, I log it like, afterwards, or I'm like, oh shit, I didn't log that one. But this says three twenty-two a.m. on on Thursday, so this is like, Tuesday the bad eating started, Wednesday I still kept eating badly, and then Thursday it all kind of caught up to me, and it was 3.20, I um, I had diarrhea squirting out of my ass, um, and I think I was, I felt like I was about to vomit, but I've always had this thing of like, if I can get out of my ass, then it's you know, then it's, I'm not going to throw up, right, it's just going to come out of my ass, um, but that didn't, that didn't happen, um, it, like, it was, well, they, actually, the first time, the first few times, I think it did happen, and it, like, what came out of my ass was, like, food, like, chewed up food, unprocessed, and I was, that kind of gave me really, like, okay, that might be the vomit, because obviously I'm a scientist, that might be the vomit coming out of my ass, and I was, like, okay, that's good, um, uh, <laughs> and then, um, well, and and then that was at three twenty, three thirty, same shitting again. Fourth, I at four a.m. I also shit again, uh, a diarrhea all of it. Um, I also shit at five a.m. twice, um, and somewhere in those times, one of them, or maybe two, I think the two last ones, maybe. F- Maybe the two, maybe, what was the times? 5 a.m. and, um, because I, I remember it was the two last ones. Let me just check. But maybe it was the four, it must have been the 4 a.m. and the 5 a.m. one. I, um, so the 4 a.m. would have been the first time I vomited, I think, because I think I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna almost vomit. I need to go to the toilet to, like, the last two times I felt like I was going to vomit, I needed to come out of my ass. And I sat there, I got, you know, I got my legs from, uh, uh, my, um, trousers off, just in case I did vomit. I had the buck- bucket in front of me, but I was like, no, no, it's just going to come out of my ass. And I felt it come up my throat, and I was like, okay, and now shit. And I shit, and I was like, okay, that should be the relief. And then the relief didn't come. And I was like, oh, shit, what? And then, and I threw up, and it, and it was very unexpected. It was the first time I vomited in eight years, and I was so, like, really, uh, unreasonably scared. Um, Because it's a stupid fear of mine. And, um, and it was fine. And I was like, oh, shit, that was easy. And I I actually somehow managed to, I'm not sure if I filmed the first Vom Bomb I did or a second one, but I filmed at least the second and third. Maybe the first, second and third. But yeah, I was like, oh shit, this is not going down, what the fuck? And I got my camera out filming just in case I did vomit. And then I did vomit. Yeah, I think I did get the first one then. Yeah, I, I, I must have got the first one. And I was like, oh fuck, what the fuck? And then I was like, wait, hold up, I'm breathing. Because that's like a big part of my fear is that I'm going to choke. And I'm like, hold up, no, I'm I'm breathing fine. And then I vomited again. Like, because it was, I had like two days worth of bad food built up of me, and I, you know, I say it's food poisoning, but it's, I don't think it's anything in specific, maybe the Indian was bad, because, um, you know, I've been there, and I've been, had diarrhea from there before, but honestly, I think it's just self-food poisoning that I've done to my, like, I've eaten, deliberately eaten off sour cream, I mean, that's retarded, and then just, 
the the rest of it, like the fucking bowl of milk and everything. Anyway, so I was like, oh shit, I'm filming, I'm vomiting. And it was like kind of cool. And I was giving a thumbs up to the camera. And I was like, uh, oh, okay, that's great. Anyway, um, felt very good about myself after that. Even though it obviously wasn't by choice, I would have held it down if I could. But, you know, it's just gets to a certain point where you can't hold it down anymore. And I was like, oh, shit. Okay, well, um, well, now, now I'm just exhausted and I'm cramping. My legs are cramping. My feet are cramping. I couldn't walk for, like, the whole day on Thursday just because my feet were cramping so much. Um, and my <laughs> Jesus Christ, my legs were cramping and my hips and my back. I don't know what the fuck was happening. Um, well, I do. I was food poisoning. I looked it up and it's symptoms of food poisoning. And, um, yeah, then I kept vomiting, like, again, and diarrheaing, and then, and then, like, trying to make, get, get up to go vomit, and then just having to vomit in the, in the bucket, on the sofa, and, you know, it, it got exhausting, but ultimately, I'm glad that it happened, because now I know that next time, I catch myself sometimes, like, when I yesterday when I had KFC for the first time and I was just like nibbling away like mm, I really don't want to throw up and I was like hold up if I do throw up the worst that's going to happen is that I throw up right like there's that's it and I've done then it's easy it's horrible but it's easy and I and I kind of kept that in mind then I stuffed my fucking face not really um I I'm still afraid but um not as, not as afraid. I think that's my, that's my conclusion. And I was still safe, trying to be safe about eating. I still don't want to throw up, obviously. Especially after vom vomiting for so long, my stomach still hurts so bad. It's like, I, re I really did a number on my stomach. Um, and I, I'm, tr I'm trying to be kinder to it today. I did just have a fizzy drink. But, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to eat, like, I'm going to eat good. I'm not going to, I'm not going <laughs> to deliberately off sour cream. Anyway, I guess I'll read off the rest of the diarrhea times. So after the... So I had five in the morning. And then I had a diarrhea at 4 p.m., diarrhea at 8 p.m., diarrhea at 9 p.m., diarrhea at 11 p.m. Diary. No, I'm kidding. I'm not saying the word diary. This is a log. <laughs> um, then I had at 3.11. Holy shit. On, uh, the, on Friday, I had diarrhea also. And then I had a relatively solid poo at 3 p.m. on on Friday. And then Saturday, which was yesterday, I didn't shit at all. Which is not that great. And then uh, on Sunday, today, I haven't shit yet either. And it's 2.30, so I haven't shit in a while. Back to constipation, it's going to build up all this uh, junk food that I'm claiming I'm not eating. And then I'm going to vomit again. Except this time I'm going to be more prepared. So it's fine. Um, no, I think the reason that I've got constipation this time is because um, through through that bout of just vomiting and uh, shitting and stuff is it was like I wasn't peeing that much, so I guess a lot of my liquids were just. I'm just gonna see how hot this is. It's not that hot. Um, I I guess th through that it was like a lot of the food was being, oh, a lot of the liquids because all I was drink I was only. The first time I ate was yesterday, I think, on the Friday. No, on the Saturday, right? Right, guys? No. Yeah, I think it was. I think I don't think I ate on Friday. Maybe I ate a little bit. I can't remember. Anyway, I was mainly drinking, and it was, it was all being vomited up or turned into diarrhea, and so I, I've. I have been, and still am kind of dehydrated, but I've been, there, there was a period of time where I just couldn't even, you know, I just couldn't drink or I would vomit, um, but yeah, I'm better now, anyway, I, I've been, I, I made such a, uh, a, a big long talk about that, just because I am proud of myself that I vomited, um, doesn't make sense, because like, again, I had no choice in it, I would have been a pussy and held it back if I could, but... I guess I'm, what I'm trying to say is I'm glad I vomited. 
And also, I like talking about shit and piss, guys. Sorry. Um, I, I will, uh... I will shit soon. So I don't think that's over. <laughs> um, anyway, that's that's my food poisoning story. Uh, Herfwatz has... We have email corresponded. And... I will be, Herfwatz, sending you a gift. Um... Unsure exactly what yet. That is yet to be decided. But it will happen. Uh, and I will, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, so then I, so then there's, uh, so then there's, whew, uh, I watched Top Gun Maverick. That was pretty cool. Sorry if I sound exhausted. I, I am pretty, um, you know, I, I, I slept for like, like 11 hours and, um, I'm still exhausted. Maybe because I overslept, but also if I slept through my alarm, like, I think maybe I, maybe I needed it. Uh, I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing too great right now, but I get, I'm getting the, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit. I'm struggling a little bit. <laughs> okay, like. What the fuck was that? Oh yeah, Top Gun Maverick. It was good. I saw it uh, last night. I saw it, and uh, I went to the cinema, and I was expecting. Obviously, I've heard good things about the movie, and I was expecting it to be brilliant, and it was really, really fucking good. It was. It was kind of just what I expected, like a really good action movie that was. I think if you're going to go watch it, definitely, you're going to enjoy it more by seeing the behind the scenes, I think, and, um, and knowing that what they've done is for real, you know, what they're, they're, they're really up there, uh, not necessarily flying the planes, but they are up there, um, with cameras being flown by someone, um, acting as if they're flying the planes and, what they're seeing is real, so what you're seeing is real, and, and you're really seeing their reactions, and it's just a very, it's a very simple movie, like, it's just, here's the mission, where, uh, it's like, I think in the first, like, five minutes, ten minutes, maybe, it's like, here's what you need to do, Tom Cruise, he, and then Tom Cruise is like, okay, I'm gonna do that, and then they do the mission, and, you know, they train for the mission, and it does, and it doesn't go to plan, obviously, but, but it works out in the end, and it's all, uh, I don't think that's spoilers, but it's like, what I'm trying to say is it's a very simple concept, but taken to, like, taken to the most cool, it's like the coolest scale was turned all the way up, you know, and it, you know, Tom Cruise is pretty cool, you know, right, if they give him, like, a, all he needs is, like, a milk crate, and then he's, like, a cool guy, I feel like I had my erratic phase at the beginning of the pod, and now I'm like in my, uh, now I'm like in my, okay, I need to, I can only talk every second breath, you know, <laughs> um, well, I feel like I've filled my time, just kidding, I'll read the fuck comments, bitch, right, let's start off with fucking her force, and fucking her force, he says, I'm not allowed to type my email address here, but now, have, whoa, okay, the camera, the camera just stopped, oh shit, um, anyway, I, I, I'll just read this comment, I guess, oh, why the fuck did the camera stop, what the fuck, oh, it's starting again, okay, okay, it starts it again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clap, okay, that's something to, that, that's good that I've tested that, because I'm gonna use this camera for, um, Capturing, uh, is are both of them going? I guess so. Um, I'm gonna, I'm using this for rigged in, and you know, I, interviews can go on for hours, so that's good to know that it's gonna just stop and start every 29 minutes. It seems like well, it said 29:02 when that showed up, or maybe that's when I looked. I don't know. Anyway, sorry. Um. Yeah, but he's put, he now has one on his channel's section, so I, that's how I emailed him. 
I've already spoken about that, so I don't know why you're commenting that hurtfuls. He also comments, are you in a cornfield? Did you get wished there? Um, I kind of wished that we didn't go there. Talking about the uh, last step, the, the soggy app. This is the 360 app, where Kieran and I were, uh, got fucking soggy as shit. Because we went to a field where we... We thought, hey, we're gonna we're gonna in, do an interv- uh do a vi- uh, do a video here because it's where we filmed the intro. But it was all overgrown and it was also raining. Um, and he also said pterodactyl, which is for some reason spelt pterodactyl. Okay, it, 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 that word actually makes sense, except for the PT. Pterodactyl. Maybe it does make sense if you're supposed to say pterodactyl. Yeah, I'm retarded. Because last episode I was struggling to say the word pterodactyl. And this is pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. But it should be P-I-T, pterodactyl. Or P-E-T, pterodactyl. Not pterodactyl. You can't get those two letters next to each other. You need a fucking vowel. A-E-I-O-U. I know English. Frost Drive says, Nice. I've been waiting for a real soggy ep. A, a real soggy episode, yeah. Thank you, dude. I'll, I'll do more soggy episodes. This thing's actually waterproof, so I might have to put that to the test on another soggy ep. Um, the main thing I was worried about was the... I thought the camera would be okay, although when I did get it back to Kieran's house and took it apart, I, um... I noticed that a lot of water had got into, like, <laughs> you know, places it shouldn't have. Um, so, I'm like, I am very concerned. I mean, it's just, like, rust build-up. If rust builds up in any of, like, the metal bits of the camera, it's, like, fucked. All right, but, um, I don't know. Uh, this one, hopefully, will be fine. But I-, I was also worried about, at the time, I was mainly worried about the, um, the microphones, I think, because it was under a, just a soggy bag, right? This bag that, that had, like, a supposedly waterproof jacket over it getting more and more soggy it turned out it wasn't waterproof but luckily the water didn't get through but yeah i was i was very concerned about the audio bullshits but i will do another soggy app i got i gotta i'll get full waterproof uh gear or maybe as long as maybe i just use this mic doesn't matter um and uh kieran comments best soggy app i love my ass scream when you asked me to come back in that distance. I didn't, dude. I thought you were going to fucking leave me there. Because I needed Kieran to come back to pick up my shit. Because I'm going to do it by myself. And I was like, oh, fuck. I'm going to really have to uh, destroy my equipment. Is the spider still there? Oh, anyway. I think I'm going uh, to go lay down. Take a take an old man nap. That battery's done quite well. I think. I think I can deal with this battery life. Um, I think maybe, hopefully having, I've got a new SD card showing up, hopefully that will mean that it will go for longer. Um, I always talk about, oh, my microphone doing this, camera doing that, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if anyone going to give a shit. Hey, uh, let's see you guys, this is the end of the 360 app. At some point, the, I'll stop responding to comments for a little bit. Oh my god, I haven't stood up for this long in a while. Standing up uh, really makes me feel sick because um because I think it elevates my heart rate. And then like like I haven't been able to take my the correct amount of asthma puffers either, which sucks recently because um that elevates my heart rate and had had me vom bombing. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. How should I end this? Should I swallow the whole camera? Okay, goodbye.